Brian Draganowski. He's a senior at Germantown Academy, Olympic trial qualifier in the 1500. You get to see him swim at the Olympic trials this summer. And when he was a freshman at Germantown Academy, he was a 5 minute 500 freestyler, and he is now down to 428. Germantown Academy, Schulberg training. Goes, goes to show for you. All right. All right, Brian, so this is uh, your dryland routine. What's your dryland routine? Oh, uh, well, we use straps, the TRX, and the total gym, the jungle gym. Uh, these are newer, but uh, we focus on abs, and uh, the, we use double straps for arms. We do push-ups, rows, and we can do dips with the double straps. So. Awesome. You guys show me those dips. Uh, sure. All right. <clears throat> so how many days a week do you do these? Uh, every day. Uh, I usually take a break on Sundays and uh -huh. Saturdays. Uh -huh. We go 30 minutes in the morning every morning uh -huh. before practice. So we go from 6 to 6.30. Awesome. Uh, Great. All right, here's Ryan doing dips on a TRX machine. Look how strong he is. Man, he's really fit. This is how good you get when you're getting this fit. You can swim really fast, make Olympic trials in high school as a guy. It's really awesome. So, Br Brian, what's this kind of exercise called? What's it called? It's called the Brian Ab Routine. You can see how strong he is. He does push ups, brings his legs in. How many of these do you do? Uh, 10 to 15. 10 to 15 is great. Beautiful, thank you. Brian, we were just talking about some of the weird things that we do at Germantown Academy for dryland. Can you share some of them? Uh, yeah, like, maybe so I so it was just selling uh, uh, scraps. Uh, it started out over the girls' locker room. And, uh, it started over the girls' locker room, and they would do it with, uh, they used buckets to prop their feet up. And then around my freshman year, Schulberg got the uh, pull-up bars. Uh, the TRX straps and he had two other guys and myself start and started really building muscle on there and uh, just carried off from there and now we've got two sets of straps, we have the TRX that perform better and uh, we do the doubles and they've really helped there. Alright, Brian is demonstrating push-ups here using the straps. Suspension training in 2006 or 2007. The first setup was by the double doors, so we can open the doors, and the, the straps were on the on the bars, and it gave the athletes full range of motion. I think full range of motion in everything you do is critical. Don't restrict their movement. And then I put the bars up, pull up bars. They're very high on purpose because there's a dirt line behind the building and I wanted to keep everything above the dirt line. And then we use these very good plyometric blocks when we do our pull-ups, chin-ups, push-ups of uh, these here. They're very, very stable. And then we have the suspension training. Um, we do it 28 minutes every day. And I rotate different athletes in. So I can have five athletes doing suspension training. I can have five athletes in between doing tubing. Um, and we do a lot of balance exercise at this end of the pool.